Well, um, yeah, Dave, I do listen about Black Lives Matter. I just don't, like, believe that people's rights are antithetical to each other's. And I don't think that, uh, it's true that the movement for racial equality in this country got sidetracked and that is really tragic. I don't think it's because of the LGBT rights movement though. If anything, it's in spite of it. Um, I don't know. I, he said to go back and watch every single special he had on Netflix. I'm gonna do exactly that and try to see, but I gotta say, he is not saying real good stuff. It's quite concerning. I don't like it. He's not a bad guy, but he's saying things that are just wrong and that are hurtful, and he should know better as somebody who knows what it's like to be hurt. And yes, I am picking on him because he has a platform and he's wealthy and successful. I think that's pretty reasonable. He's right. Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. There's still economic inequality. There's still mass incarceration that's like racially unequal. But nevertheless, I don't see how any of those things are improved by taking away other people's rights, especially people that are like not even a substantial amount of society. It's like, it's true that sometimes LGBT rights make progress faster basically because we don't cost money, you know? If anything, you know, gay weddings boost the economy, right? Versus reparations costs a lot of money and is very difficult to get done and, you know, Basically, once people realized that gay marriage didn't actually affect them, they didn't care. But, like, fixing this country's, like, problems with regards to race, at this point, involves a lot of really expensive projects to solve our, like, basically, core. there's two problems. One is there's a correlation between race and class, and the other is that we have a society that is class divided. Um, I, I, I don't know as you can work on, you can work on one of those things without working on the other, but you need to ultimately to solve both of those problems. And as long as you see those as separate problems, neither is going to get solved, you know? Um, as long as people want to have an unequal society, they are going to be somewhat tribalistic about it. I'm not saying it's okay or that we shouldn't have successful black people. But it is frustrating when someone like Dave Chappelle just plays the race card, but I don't think the solution is to derail, like, the civil rights movement. I think the solution is to cancel Dave Chappelle. I think that he should stop trying to throw an entire movement under the bus along with a community he's not even a part of, um, just because he's frustrated, which he does comedy out of frustration, and that can be a good thing, but it can also be very hurtful. It just depends on where you go with it. I've been around people that thought the n-word was funny, and I tried to tell them to stop, and they wouldn't stop, you know? And it's like, Dave Chappelle thinks the t-word is funny, you know? And I don't know what to tell him, other than it's not. And I'm not gonna use the n-word. And I would appreciate it if he would be kinder to the trans community, you know? And Black Lives Matter, you know? I'm not going to get sidetracked from that just because Dave Chappelle is an idiot, but I'm also not going to forget about my own rights.